New right now, organizers of Grandma's Marathon says that the annual race is now a race day decision because of the forecast. Tens of thousands of runners will have to wait for an update at 3 a.m. on Saturday to find out whether the race will happen. We told you that the Northland is dealing with a dangerous deluge and dozens of washed out roads. Organizers of the marathon told us that the course was not among those damaged roads. The main threat is thunderstorms. Two runners hoping to hit that course have an incredible story to tell. As Adam Duxter shows us, they'll have a reason to celebrate no matter how they finish. For Becky and Scott DeGroote, Saturday. And this was in Niagara Falls, um, so this one was up in Canada. Is far from the first race, but it might be. I'm excited that I can actually do this. The most important, considering getting here. Our entire life was changing uh, in front of us. Has been a marathon in itself. 15 years ago, Scott diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease. For years, he managed until his body hit the wall. I don't think we thought it was going to be reality um, for us that he would need a transplant until it hit us. Becky wasn't a match, but still donated to save a life. Doctors told Scott waiting for a match could take years until. <laughs> it still humbles me to think that somebody would you know, do that for me. A fellow runner and friend. This was our first uh, team photo with Amy. Took them straight to the finish line, choosing to donate herself. It's just amazing that she was willing to, to do that. Scott's new kidney coming in a surgery at M Health Fairview last August. This weekend at Grandma's in Duluth. We put together the, the shirt. He'll run on spare parts, but with a heart very much full. A force no rain could ever stop. Something tells me you guys would run this at a downpour if you had to. Probably. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I mean. They'd have to pull us off the course at this point. And we've so. done a lot harder things than run in the rain. In Brooklyn Center, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Love a shirt. I do too. It's, <laughs> it's so, so great. great. Yeah. Scott and Becky say that they hope their st story encourages others to choose to be living kidney donors. Yeah, they're an inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, to see if you're a match and to get more information, check out this story on WCCO.com.